Hello everybody, today we're looking at arithmetic sequences. An arithmetic sequence is a series of numbers where each number is going up by the same amount each time. For example here we've got 5, 7, 9, etc. We start with 5 and we're going up by 2 each time, we're adding 2 each time. Here uh, the, we call the first number A, we give the first number the letter A. And the amount it's going up by each time we call a difference, which is given by the letter D. So here the first number A is equal to 5, the difference D is equal to 2. I've got another sequence here, 20, 16, 12, 8, etc. We start with 20, so A is equal to 20, and the difference is minus 4, it's going down by 4 each time. We also have N, which is the number of terms, and here the number of terms is equal to 9. Uh, and so we just say n is the number of terms there. You need to know a, d and n for this video. Okay. In your exam you'll be given this formula in your formula booklet. Uh, and it says sn is equal to n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1d. sn means the sum of the n terms. So for example if it was the sum of the first 10 terms uh, it's like you are adding the first 10 terms of the sequence together and you would get some answer. And this formula will tell you a quick way of finding that sum. Uh, where A is the first term, D is the difference, and N is the number of terms. I'm going to show you this in action, so uh, in today's video we will use this formula a lot. So you'll really understand how we use this. Example 1, A, we're going to find the nth term of this uh, series. 8. 13, 18, 23, like this. And to do this, we need to know how much is going up by each time, and it's going up by 5 each time. And if we went backwards, if we did 8 minus 5, we would get 3. The previous term before the 8 would be 3. And we just substitute those numbers in like this, 5n plus 3. And this gives us the nth term. And what this does is it tells you uh, the number that is in any place in the sequence. For example, uh, this is the first place, we put 1 in uh, to this expression, we get 8 out, 2, 3, 4, and we could even uh, put 5 in. So we're going to put 5 into this expression, 5 times 5 plus 3, and we will get 28. So 28 will be the fifth term, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it will be the fifth term. So this is a really handy expression uh, for us to figure out uh, any number in this sequence, no matter how uh, far along in the sequence it is. Now it says find the sum of the first 30 terms of this series. 8 plus 13 plus 18 plus 23. Uh, added, uh, so it's adding all the 30, first 30 numbers of the series. So we use the formula we learned before, and we know that a is 8, the first term is 8, uh, the difference is 5, and the number of terms is 30. So we substitute those numbers into the uh, formula like this, and we can simplify a little bit. 30 divided by 2 is 15, 2 times 8 is 16, 30 minus 1 is 29, and we can type that into our calculator, we get 2,415. That is the final answer. Okay, so the first 30 terms of this series add up to be 2,415. That's far quicker than actually adding up each term step by step. Example 2, the sum of the first 14 terms of an arithmetic sequ uh, sequence is minus 7. Given that the first term is 19, find the common difference. Okay, so again we'll use this formula because we are talking about the sum. It is a good idea to use this formula. Uh, then it says the first term is 19, the difference is, we don't know, the number of terms is 14. And the sum uh, of the first 19 terms, uh, sorry, the first, sum of the first 14 terms, that should be 14, is minus 7. Uh, so we substitute in <coughs> those numbers, <coughs> and we get this. And the only uh, thing we don't know is d over here, which means you can solve this equation uh, by simplifying and rearranging. We're going to simplify it first. 14 divided by 2 is 7, 2 times 19 is 39, 14 minus 1 is 13. So we simplified a little bit. Now we can expand the brackets. 7 times 38 is 266. 7 times uh, 13 was 91. 
Got this expression, let's take 266 off both sides, we get this. And then we can divide by 91. Minus 273 divided by 91 is minus 3, so the difference is minus 3. And all we did there was put a, m, and the sum into this expression here. Uh, and we simplified it, and then we rearranged it with a bit of algebra. Uh, which looks a bit scary, but it's really not if you know your algebra well. Okay. Now, example 3 is a bit harder. This is probably a grade 8 or grade 9 uh, question at GCSE. It says the fourth term of an arithmetic sequence is 23. The sum of the first 10 terms of an arithmetic sequence is 290. Find the tenth term. Uh, now, th this is a bit scary. I'm not really sure where to start. Uh, but I think the best thing to do will just be write out what I know. And uh, So I've got the uh, spaces here for my uh, sequence to be filled in. And I know the fourth term is 23, so I'm putting a 23 in the fourth space. And I know the first term we call A, and it's going up by D each time. Okay, now I also know the sum of the first 10 terms of the sequence is 290. So I can uh, write this, A is question mark, D is question mark, I don't know either of those. N is 10, because it's the first 10 terms, and the sum is 290. And I'm going to use the formula again. Substitute the numbers in, and I'm going to simplify. 10 divided by 2, uh, simplifies to 5. 10 minus 1 is 9, so I get this. Now I've got 5 times everything on this side, so I think I'll divide by 5. And then uh, 290 divided by 5 is 58. And so I get this uh, equation over here. Now that's going to be useful, although I can't solve it yet, because there are two unknown numbers. However, what I can use is this information here, that the fourth term is 23. And so I know that if I add uh, D, add D, add D, A plus D plus D plus D, I get 23. So A plus 3D is 23, because to get to 23, you start with A, and you just go up D three times. And this gives us two simultaneous equations, and that means we can solve them for A and D. I'm going to start by multiplying by 2, uh, and that gives us a 2a, and I do that because I've got a 2a over here, and I can compare them now. I write them underneath each other, and I subtract to cancel out the 2a's. 58 minus 46 is 12, 2a minus 2a is 0, and 9d minus 6d is 3d. 12 is equal to 3d, I divide by uh, 3, and I get d is equal to 4. I now know what D is, I can work out what A is by substituting it in to this equation over here. A plus 3 times 4 is 23. A plus 12 is 23. I take 12 off both sides, and I get that A is equal to 11. Okay, I can replace the A uh, with 11 up here. And all I have to do to find a tenth term is just keep adding the di common difference to it until I get to the tenth term over here, just like this, and I can fill out the expression like that, and I get that the tenth term is 47. That is the final answer. If you're not perfectly certain, you could just try adding uh, these numbers here, just make sure they add up to 290, but I, I know they do. Okay, so uh, th those are three separate exam style questions on arithmetic sequences in today's video. Uh, if you'd like to re-watch that, that's totally fine. I know it was a quick video, so you may want to watch it a few times to make sure you're completely happy with all my steps. So, thank you for watching. Uh, you've got a practice uh, question for you to try here. Uh, I recommend you pause the video, take your time, t it'll take about 5-10 to ten minutes, uh, try it on pen and paper, don't do it in your head. Uh, and when you're ready, I'll reveal the answer in... Three, two, one. Did you get it right? Let me know in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching uh, today's video. Uh, we have plenty more videos coming every week to cover uh, GCSE, A-Level and IB Maths. And remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss those videos. Again, thank you for watching. I really appreciate your support. Uh, and... Good luck in your exams. Bye for now.